Well, hello there and welcome to Oxford, Ohio. I hope you like the long ball as 30 mile an hour wind blowing straight away to center field makes you think you'll see a couple here today. It's the opening day and a three game tilt between the visiting Huskies of Northern Illinois and the reigning MAC champs, Miami. If you're watching it all on Love and Honor Live on Chatterbox Sports. I'm Reed Mouse, the Red Hawks coming today with a record of 14 and nine. They were able to take away two of three from Ohio University last weekend, Northern Illinois is 10 and 12. Let's take you through very quickly through the Huskies starting lineup. Batting leadoff and playing first base, Caitlin Shoemaker. Courtney James will be batting second. She's in center field. Kelly Lewinsky is at shortstop. She's batting three. Kara Carruthers is at third base. She's batting in the cleanup spot. Sam Melinder with a designated hitter. She's batting fifth. Danielle Stewart will be the pitcher. She's batting sixth. Kylie Connor. The starting second baseman batting seventh. Ellis Erickson is behind the dish. She's batting eighth. And Allie Rodriguez, she's anchoring this lineup. She's in left field. So we are already underway here in Oxford, Ohio. Brianna Pratt's on the mound, or in the circle, rather, for the Red Hawks. You see the stats real quick from Brianna Pratt. She's 9-4 on the season. She's got a 5.54 ERA. She struck out. 68 batters has walked 31. 0-2 oh, count here to Caitlin Shoemaker. Up the middle for a base hit, and the Huskies are on the base paths to begin things here. Let's take you through the starting defensive alignment for Miami today. Behind the dish will be Riley Coyne. At first base will be Holly Blaska. Maddie Banks is at second base. Carly Spade is playing the hot corner over at third. Adriana Barlow is at shortstop out in the outfield. We've got Colin Besky, Kate Kobayashi, and Ali Cummins. Very windy day here in Miami as the first pitch misses outside. 1-0 and to Courtney James. Temperature at first pitch, 55 degrees, and we mentioned the wind, 23 miles an hour blowing out to center field, right center field. The 1-0 to James. This Husky team coming in at 10 and 12. They were able to split their opening series in the MAC. Two and to James. She's a 294 hitter. She's starting center field. Out on the run, trying to swipe a bag on Riley Coyne is Shoemaker, and she'll have it with ease. Put a runner on second base and a 3-0 count to Courtney James. The Huskies threatening in the top half of the first inning. Pratt finds the strike zone to make the count three and one. Pratt pitched 16 innings last weekend against Ohio University. The three ones in there for a called strike. And those 16 innings, she gave up eight earned runs. Got better as the weekend progressed as they lost their first game then took the second and third to win the series. The payoff pitch. Called strike three on Courtney James as Pratt finds the inside corner. Stepping into the batter's box, Kelly Walensky. She's batting 339 on the season. Kelly Walensky. In fact, she's leading Northern Illinois in hitting. 20 hits, five extra base hits. Chops one down to Carly Spade. She backhands it in foul territory, 0-1 count. The umpires for today's game behind the dish is Paul Melcher. First base umpire will be Terrell Guidry. Jason Booth is the umpire down the third base line. The 0-1 to Walensky. Fouled straight back, and Pratt is ahead. 
of the three hole from Northern Illinois. Miami in their all red jerseys. With the white trim, Northern Illinois wearing black pants. White jersey with the red and black trim on the top. Oh, and to the count from Pratt as she toes the rubber. Just missing on the outside. Swung on and missed. And after the leadoff base knock and after Caitlin Shoemaker stole second base to put her in scoring now position with nobody away, back-to-back -back K's for Brianna Pratt. Number 16, Kara Crothers. So we'll see Kara Crothers. 279 hitter on the season. So we mentioned how the big fly might be a factor today with a 30 mile an hour wind blowing out to center field. Northern Illinois doesn't leave the yard too much as they've only hit seven home runs this season. The 0-1 to Crothers. Hit right back at Brianna Pratt off the shin, rounding third and heading for a home. The Huskies take a 1-0 lead on the base knock from Kara Crothers. Others hit it well, and it just bounced off the left shin of Brianna Pratt, skirted into shallow right field. And Northern Illinois is on the board first. Christina Sutcliffe in another year for leading this Husky squad. Sam Melinder steps into the batter's box, batting 266. She falls behind 0-1. Pratt gets the sign from Coyne. In the dirt. After the precipitation we've had the past few days here in southwestern Ohio, this field is in immaculate shape. Thanks to the grounds crew here at the softball stadium. The 1-1 one -one is fouled straight back. It's 1-2. Pratt gets the sign from Coyne. The one-two is fouled straight back. We'll do it again. You can see the wind blowing our center field camera as it is Hallett. So are the Huskies as they were able to get on board first. This is tipped for a ride, rattling up against the left field wall, rounding third and headed for home. The relay from Adriana Barlow's not in time as Kara Crothers comes around and scores on the extra base hit from Sam Melinder. It's two to nothing. Pitcher, number 22, Danielle Stewart. So Melinda moved up to third on the throw to home. And you'll see the starting pitcher for Northern Illinois, Danielle D.D. Stewart. A true freshman, struggling at the plate at the beginning of the part of this season. Batting 209. Nine hits and 43 at-bats. She can help her own cause by finding the outfield grass. The 1-0's in there for a called strike. It's 1-1. One one. Melinda at third. Miami's 
Infield playing straight up. The one, two, swung on and missed. And Pratt gets a strikeout. To conclude things here in the top half of the first, Northern Illinois gets two runs thanks to three hits. We're right at the bottom of the first here on Love and Honor Live. Welcome back to Oxford, Ohio. Very quickly, let's take you through Miami's starting lineup. Batting leadoff, third baseman, Carly Spade. Batting in the two hole out in right field, Allie Cummins. Holly Blaska is batting third. She's playing first base. Kate Kobayashi's clean up hitter. She's in center field. Ginny Golombiski is in left field. She's batting fifth. Shelby Kunkel is the designated hitter. Riley Coins behind the dish. Adriana Barlow, the shortstop. She's batting eighth. Maddie Banks anchoring this lineup. She's the second baseman. Dee Dee Stewart's first pitch to Carly Spade. Swung on and missed. Coming up empty. You see Dee Dee Stewart's stats 2.74 ERA, 4 and 5 record. She's got 37 strikeouts and 26 walks as a true freshman. Carly Spade drills one on the ground towards Carruthers over at third. She leaves her feet, dives, throws it across the bag to Shoemaker for the first out. It's a five to three put out for the first out. Red Hawk, right fielder, number 23, Cummins. It's Paul Melcher, home plate umpire. Let's see if Shoemaker came off the first base bag. And they confirm the out over at first. Now we'll see Allie Cummins. Cummins, a 369 hitter. She's left the yard nine times this season. She leads the, the Red Hawks. First pitch to Cummins in there for a called strike. Looking for the sign. She gets ahead of Cummins, 0-2. Stewart went five and one-third innings pitch against Akron last week. Gave up two earned runs, five hits, five Ks. Looking for her first strikeout here today as she misses inside, 0-2, runs to 1-2. Sun shining on the diamond here. Upstairs. So they have a shift here on Allie Cummins. Where they put four outfielders and are leaving the right side of the infield for just Shoemaker to man. The full count offering to Cummins. This is inside. A one-out walk. 
Put Holly Blaska to the plate. Stepping in is the first baseman, number five, Holly Blaska. So Blasco on the season. She's fourth in this Miami lineup in hitting. 311 hitter. She's got an OPS over one. Four home runs, six doubles, 18 RBIs. Another substitution out on the field. Playing at second base. Connor, the listed starting second baseman, has left the field, and we're trying to see who came in at second. First pitch to Blaska. Misses on the outside. Blaska, a senior from Minnesota. Has put together a nice career here at Miami. one -oh swinging. Coming up empty. She had a nice weekend a week ago in Athens. In three games, had four hits. Scored three times. 1-1 one -one is fouled back. We'll do it at 1-2. and two. D.D. Stewart gets Blaska to pop up. Out in right field, Crane will have it for the second out. She came in, caught off the second baseman. And two away and one on board for Kate Kobayashi. Center fielder, number 22, Kate Kobayashi. Bayashi at the plate. Golombeski's in the on-deck circle. Two away, the defense aligning straight up against Kobayashi. Called strike to the starting center fielder. A junior from Kansas City, Missouri. She leads the team in hitting. 373. As she falls behind one and two. She has 11 strikeouts and 51 at bats. And she looks to battle on the one two. Hit into center field, and the wind is howling as James goes back to the warning track. But she'll have it for the third out. Initially took two steps in before falling back and making it. The no third and final out. Two nothing our score as we head to the second inning here on Love and Honor Live. Is refreshing, but did you know the Pepsi you buy Seven, eight, nine, two up for the Huskies. Riley Connor Ellis, Erickson, Ali Rodriguez. And as Brianna Pratt used to challenge the bottom half of this Northern Illinois lineup. The 
Huskies come in. This is their third conference game. They were able to split with the Akron Zips last Sunday. Lost the first, came back and won the second thanks to clutch hitting from Kelly Walensky. And speaking of clutch hitting, Riley Connor gets things going here in the top of the second with a base knock to center field. Now we'll see Ellis Erickson. Number 23, Ellis Erickson. Erickson batting 184 on the season. Seven hits and 38 at-bats. See if she tries to advance the runner in the bottom half of the order. First pitch swinging, fouls it off her left ankle. We'll do it at 101. Pratt toes the rubber here on 0-1. Trying to lay down the bunt. Erickson comes up empty. She quickly finds herself in an 0-2 hole as Carly Spade and Holly Blaska came crashing in on the corners. So now having to defend herself at the plate. Pratt rocks back. Here's the 0-2. Missing low and away. One and two. Rock back, the one two's in the dirt again, up and running on the pitch. And swiping second base, Riley Connor moves herself into scoring position. So deja vu from the first inning, when Caitlin Shoemaker singled to center field, then swiped second base. She eventually came around and scored Riley Connor, following the same blueprint. The two two from Pratt. Fouled back, we'll do it again. <laughs> Called time here, Paul Metro. The 2-2. Two, two. In the dirt, Pratt scrapes the mud three straight times and has ran the count full. Erickson with just four RBIs on the season. Looking for number five on this payoff pitch. She comes up empty on the swing. It's the first out on the strikeout. Now you'll see Allie Rodriguez. Number one, Allie Rodriguez. Left-handed swinging left fielder. It's actually third on the team in hitting. One of the three hitters in this Husky lineup, batting over 300, coming in at a 303 clip. Dancing up in the front of the box, swinging. Oh, and one's the count. Rodriguez, a true freshman. From Romeoville, Illinois. The bunt is fouled back, it's 0-2. Let's see what the speedy Rodriguez can do now that she's in an 0-2 hole. Rodriguez has six RBIs on the season. She's got 20 hits, only one extra base hit. You see the infield shifting to a five-person infield. And the only outfielders patrolling shallow left field and center field, Kobayashi, Golombeski.
Pratt rocks and deals. Swung on a miss. Rodriguez comes up empty. And Pratt gets her fifth strikeout of the game already. Back to the top of the order at number three. First baseman, Caitlin Shoemaker. We run back to the top half of this Northern Illinois lineup. It's Caitlin Shoemaker. She singled to center field her last time. Looking to repeat success as Pratt finds the dirt. It's 1-0. Two away, one on. Riley Connor got things going with a first pitch single to center field. And Shoemaker looking to bring in Connor. There's going to be a play at the plate, the cutoff from Blaska. She lets it roll through to coin. It's three to nothing on the single from Caitlin Shoemaker. Number two. Huskies Third out field, in Courtney front early. James. And you'll see Courtney James. Shoemaker two for two on the day. RBI and a run scored. James struck out looking her last time. Falls behind 0-1. One is grounded out to Barlow. She throws it across the infield to Blaska. It's a six to three put out. Northern Illinois puts another on the board. It's three to nothing thanks to two hits here in the top half of the second. Stay tuned. You're watching Chatterbox Sports. Miami University Athletics would like to once. Bottom of the second, 3 nothing. our score. The Huskies out in front of the Red Hawks. 5-6-7, two up for Miami. Jenna Golombeski, Shelby Kunkel, then Riley Coyne. Danielle Stewart in the circle for Northern Illinois. I'm Marie Mouse. You're watching... Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. First pitch to Golombeski's in there for a called strike. Oh, 1. This is up and away. Golombeski, this is her 12th start on the season. She's batting 313. She's got an OPS over one. Four home runs and just 32 at bats. She sends one sky high down the left field line, but in the field of play, bouncing off the glove of Walensky, the shortstop, and Rodriguez dove to get the ricochet, but comes up empty. So one and two. Golombeski awaits the one-two and misses upstairs. The wind shifting from blowing to right center field to right field. Two-two off the end of the bat and ricocheting off Stewart's shin to Walensky's hand. She throws it across the diamond, not in time. 
Janet Golombeski. And brings up the designated player for the Red Hawks. Number 17, Gets aboard Shelby to lead off for the Red Kunkel. Hawks. Shelby Kunkel, the designated hitter. Steps in. She, too, this is her 12th start. She's batting 432, 16 hits and 37 at bats. And she takes the first pitch for a called strike. Only three extra base hits, though. Stewart offers, fouled back. And Kunkel is behind 0 and 2. Kunkel is seeing the ball well. And she has a 10 game hitting streak going on, but she goes down looking on three pitches for the first out. Red Hawk catcher, number 15, Riley Coyne. It's the graduate student, Riley Coyne, the starting catcher from Alabama, steps into the batter's box. She came up clutch last weekend against OU as her home run in the seventh inning put Miami over the Bobcats. First pitch swinging and fouled into the bleachers. Owen wants the count. And they're going to go in there and check on D.D. Stewart, the starting pitcher for Northern Illinois. So Coyne comes in as a 250 hitter. She's got five home runs, which is good for third on the team. So we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Northern Illinois doesn't leave the yard a whole lot. They have seven home runs as a team this season. Miami has two different batters that have hit at least seven home runs in the form of Carly Spade and Allie Cummins. As a team, they've hit 38 round trippers while only giving up 17. Very potent lineup indeed. Play is started back up. The 0-1 misses the catcher, Erickson, and taking second base with ease. Kalimbeski is in scoring position. Northern Illinois pinching the middle side of the field, at least for the second baseman and first baseman, working away from the right field line. whole lot of wind when you get down in the batter's box or in the circle as this finds the dirt and a nice job seeing that dirt ball read. Golombeski takes third. And the reason for that is just being the pit, kind of the way that this field is set up, the stadium is set up, has been blocking the wind as it's blowing out to right center field. So the wind doesn't play much of a factor until it gets pushed in the air. The 2-2 misses inside, running the count full. Shoemaker, Brothers, and Walensky all playing in line with the base paths as they want to try to keep Golombeski away from home. In the air to right field, getting in the wind stream. And Crane comes down with it for the first out. But Golombeski will score. It's 3-1. So the sacrifice fly gets Miami on the board, and Adriana Barlow steps in the batter's box with no one aboard and two away. Shortstop, number six, Adriana Barlow. Barlow's first pitch swinging, bounces it over to Carruthers. She throws it across the diamond. For the third and final out, Miami scratches one across thanks to 
the leadoff base knock and the crafty base running from Jim Golombeski. It's three to one as we head to the third inning here on Love and Honor Live. Welcome back to this warm yet windy late March day here in Oxford, Ohio. Great bounce. Thank you for joining in on this special edition of Love and Honor Live on Chatterbox Sports. We'll be here all spring long to broadcast both the softball and baseball team. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and like the stream. Helps, extreme. Helps us grow. Three, four, five, two up for Northern Illinois. It's Kelly Walensky. Walensky went down swinging her last time. She falls behind 0 and 1. Before things got started here today on this Saturday, they honored Coach Kumar for her 100th win. They got in the third game against OU last week. It's a blowout win. Coach Kumar's record here for Miami, 136 and one. As she has transitioned Miami to not just a local powerhouse, but a team's fit for the national stage. One and two is the count. Walensky awaits the one-two. Chopped over to Carly Spade. She'll throw it over to Blaska for the first out. So Northern Illinois was able to get two in the first inning, one in the second. Both thanks greatly in part to the leadoff base knock from Caitlin Shoemaker in the first and Riley Connor in the second. Stepping in is Kara Crothers. Crothers. Starting at third base. She singled old Shoemaker her first time and then came around and scored on the Sam Melinder extra base hit. This game was originally slated for Friday, got pushed back Great part due to all the rain that we got. Rain nearly for 24 hours here in southwestern Ohio. Didn't think it was ever gonna let up. The one one is swung on and missed. <laughs> Pratt rocks after getting the sign from Coin. And the one-two delivery. Swung on and missed, and that's two up, two down here in the top half of the third. Sixth strikeout Number 20, second for base Brianna Pratt. Mellander. Her season high in K's is 10. She had that against Murray State earlier this year, about a month ago. She struck out nine in the first game against Ohio last week. 
Other than that, six is normally where she sits at. 1-0 here to Sam Melinder, and Melinder brought home Kara Crothers. She rattled up a double against the left field wall. 1-0 misses outside as Pratt has fallen behind the starting designated hitter. Two zero misses inside. It's three and zero. Three O's ran back in the strike zone. Three and one here to Sam Melinder. Senior from Plainfield, Illinois, awaits the 3-1. And there for a called strike, so Pratt runs it back, and the count is full. Sutcliffe talking to Melinda as she steps back into the box. 3-2, two, two away in the top half of the third. Pratt nods no to the first sign from Coyne. She rocks and deals. Chopped back to Pratt as she doesn't glove it cleanly. Carly Spade throws across the diamond, but not in time. So Melinda takes first on the defensive miscue. And the starting pitcher, Danielle Stewart, who was originally supposed to be hitting here. And in fact, she Number 22, is. Pitcher Danielle Going to get a new runner Stewart. for Melinda. Stewart went down on strikes her first time around. Paul Melcher talking to Coach Kumar. Letting him know the adjustment. And we'll tell you who's on the base paths here in a second. First pitch here to Dee Dee Stewart. Called strike. Out on the base pass is Fiona Crane, Vince the starting right fielder. Is number 26, Fiona Crane. So Crane coming in to alleviate Melinda on the base paths. Owen won the count to Stewart. Stewart hacking at the 0-1, fouls it back. She finds herself in a hole. Despite the win, still a nice crowd here on this Saturday. Game two and game three will be played tomorrow. You can watch that right here on Chatterbox Sports. The 0-2 just misses outside. Pratt looking for her seventh K. Running on the pitch. Crane slides in the second. She's out. Nice throw from Riley Coyne. Adriana Barlow playing her position. Tags Crane out. And that's the third out. We head to the bottom half of the third. It's still three to one. Northern Illinois in the top.
Nine one two. Here in the bottom half of the third. Matty Banks is back in the top half of the order. Carly Spade and Allie Cummins. Number twenty nine. Matty Banks. Three one. Here in Oxford. Mentioned a very warm day. Looking at that 10-day forecast, looks like the warmth might be here to stay. Hopefully it is, though the wind is still howling. And so are the Huskies here in the early parts of the ball game as Maddie Banks lays down the bunt and gets aboard for the two greatest hitters in Miami softball history and Carly Spade and Allie Cummins. So a nice bunt single from Banks. And number seven, third baseman Carly Spade. We'll bring up Carly Spade. And you see the defensive substitution as they are eliciting a three-person infield for the hitter that is Carly Spade. Spade with seven home runs. She leads the MAC in RBIs with 23. hitter, the junior from Chicago, Illinois. And once again, they're talking about the defensive alignment and the substitutions that Northern Illinois is frequently putting into play. Last year, Spade had 28 home runs as she batted 413. So the batting average is about 100 points lower than it was a season ago. And her freshman year. So not living up to her lauded standard, but still having a fantastic year. I mentioned that she's leading the conference in RBIs near the top in home runs. Spade looking to put one in the air on the 0-1, and she fouls it straight back. It's 0-2. She grounded out to Crothers her first time around. Spade pops one into center field. Making the play is James for the first out. They got one in the golf stream, but didn't get enough behind it. And we'll see Allie Cummins. Number 23, right fielder Allie Cummins. So Spade leads the Mac in RBIs. Cummins leads the conference in home runs with nine. Mentioned she's a local product, a graduate student. She hails from Westchester, Ohio. She went to Lakota West, very good high school softball program. She hit a home run in each of the games against Ohio. So she's hit a home run in every Matt game thus far this season. Popped up in foul territory. One and two is the count to the starting right fielder. On the outside, Cummins didn't chase. Stewart has done a nice job through the first two and one-third innings, allowing two hits, one being the bunt that Maddie Banks had just moments ago. 2-2, two -two, coming up empty. The strike him out, throw him out. What a play from Ellis Erickson. First, Dee, Dee Stewart sends Allie Cummins down on strikes, and then they throw Maddie Banks out. For the we head to the no fourth inning. It's three to one. No errors. No one left on.
Through three, and our score is three to one. The Huskies on top of Miami. Looking to get their second MAC win this season, the Huskies are. They split with the Akron Zips last Sunday. They pushed this series back one day. They're playing one today, to two tomorrow. So be sure to tune in for all three. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Like the stream. It helps it grow. We appreciate it. Appreciate you for tuning in. Dede Stewart, Riley Connor, Ellis Erickson do up for Northern Illinois. Dede, the starting pitcher for the Huskies. Falls behind 0-1. She's done a nice job in the circle today. Coming today, her ERA was under three. And it's holding up to this point. The 0-1 is fouled down the left field line. Pratt gets the sign from Coin. Here's the 0-2. Grounded right back to the starting pitcher, so it's pitcher to pitcher. As Bree throws it over to Blaska for the first out. Twenty-four. Second baseman, Kylie Connor. So Kylie Connor. Steps in. Kylie with a leadoff single back in the second inning. She was brought around home thanks to the base knock from Caitlin Shoemaker at the top half of the order. Northern Illinois scored two in the first, one in the second. Miami answered back with one of their own in the bottom half of the second, and that's where we're at midway through this ball game. One and one the count here to Connor. Called strike. You see Connor stepping down the third base line as she's getting ready for the pitch. And Pratt sends Connor packing. Seventh K of the day for Pratt. 23, catcher Ellis Erickson. Now we'll see Ellis Erickson, and boy, did she make a great play to conclude things just last half inning. Rally Cummings went down swinging. She threw out the speedy Maddie Banks out at second base. First pitch swinging. She went down on strikes her last time. Own one here to the starting catcher. Misses on the inside. The one one from Pratt. Chopped over to Carly Spade. She takes two steps to her left, throws it across the diamond to Blaska for the third and final out. We head to the bottom of the fourth. It's three to one on Love and Honor Live. In the top of the fourth, the runs no.
Leading off the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth here. It's three to one. You're watching Love and Honor Live on Shatterbox Sports. I'm Ray Mouse. Thank you for joining us. Holly Blaska, Kikobayashi, and Jenna Galambeski do up for Miami as they are trailing two runs to their Mac rivals, Northern Illinois Huskies. So we mentioned that Allie Cummins and Carly Spade need nearly every career record here for Miami softball. Home runs, batting average, runs batted in. Well, if you look at the single season record, Holly Blaska is featured quite prominently as well as she's first pitch swing into deep left field. Underneath it is Rodriguez for the first out. Yeah, Holly Blaska's 13 home runs last year. Good for fifth in the record book for single season home runs. Trailing only, yeah, you guessed it, Carly Spade and Allie Cummins on two separate years. Now we'll see the center fielder, Kate Kobayashi. Kate had 12 round trippers last year which, once again, is right underneath Holly Blaska and Riley Coyne for the single season record, as well as Carly Cummins, or Allie Cummins and Carly Spate. One and one the count here to Kobayashi. Dee Dee Stewart misses upstairs, it's two and one. Kobayashi flew out to center field her last time around. Concluded things back in the first inning. Two one misses outside. It's three and one as Kobayashi's in the driver's seat. Three ones in the dirt, and Kobayashi will be awarded first base as Jenna Golombeski is due up. Number two, left fielder Jenna Golombeski. It's only the fourth base runner of the game, Kobayashi is. Jenna Golombeski single, came around and scored. She stole second and third base. And came in on the sack fly from Riley Coyne. Golombeski, first pitch swinging, chasing the fastball upstairs. Golombeski fouls it back. 0-2 is the count. Golombeski made nine starts as a freshman, now as a sophomore, making her 12th, and she's made the most of it, betting over 300 as she goes down looking on three pitches here in the bottom of the fourth. Number 17. So send up Shelby Kunkel. She represents the tying run at the plate. as the Northern Illinois infield shifts to the right side. Walensky, the shortstop, moves to the right side of second base. Kobayashi, four for five on stolen base attempts this year. See if she's up and moving to get her in scoring position for the left-handed swinging Kunkel. Kunkel went down on strikes her first time around. She's ahead 2-0. Stewart rocks and deals. Kunkel sends one into deep left center field, calling off the left fielder. James has it for the third and final out. 
So Miami leaves one aboard. We head to the fifth inning. It's three to one. One left eye. Welcome back. It's Ali Rodriguez in the top half of the Huskies lineup. Christina Sutcliffe has her squad in the driver's seat. It's made to the final three innings of this opening game of the three game tilt between Miami and Northern Illinois. Rodriguez went down swinging her first time around. Brianna Pratt still in the circle for Miami. Go to a five-man infield for Rodriguez, who tries to lay down the bun on the first pitch. Blaska, Spade come crashing. It's 0 one you See Rodriguez choking up on the bat. The lefty awaits the 0-1. Pratt rocks. She deals. Called strike. The 0-2. Swung on and missed. Another strikeout for Brianna Pratt. It's eight Ks for the starting pitcher for Miami. At that now, number three, and we're back Caitlin to the top half of the order. Shoemaker. It's Caitlin Shoemaker who's had a nice day at the plate. She singled in the first and second inning, two for two. She came around and scored back in the first, and she had an RBI in the second. First pitch to Pratt. From Pratt to Shoemaker. Off speed, the misses on the outside. And this year, Pratt's most strikeouts in a game is 10. And she's flirting with reaching that total here today. Two and one is a bunt attempt that comes up empty. The 2 1. Flared over to the second baseman. Banks has to get rid of it quickly. She doesn't. It's another single as the speedy shoemaker beats out the play at first. So, shoemaker, three for three at the plate. And she is half of Northern Illinois' hits today. Courtney James steps up. She's 0 for 2. She's grounded out to Adriana Barlow and struck out looking. Gets away from Riley Coyne as Shoemaker takes second. Spade there to come up and get the ricochet. She had to scramble back to third to make sure that Shoemaker doesn't take 
another back. So advancing on a wild pitch. One away, Shoemaker at second. And Northern Illinois threatening once again with the heart of their lineup up. Called strike. To James. Down the left field line, line hit well, but tails foul. James with six RBIs on the air. The junior from Indiana. Had a two for five day in the opening game against Akron. One RBI in that affair. We can have another RBI here. She can find the outfield pasture. One, two. This is upstairs, two and two to James. Fouled over the third base dugout. We'll do it again. Early in the broadcast, we mentioned not a whole lot of pop in Northern Illinois' bats, but they make up with it with their speed. They lead the league in stolen bases. Shoemaker, who's out there on second, has 15 stolen bases. And she's not the only Husky in double digits as Shoemaker swipes third as Courtney James goes down swinging. So two away, and Kelly Walensky steps up to the plate. Walensky had an insurance Walensky. RBI against the Zips just last Sunday. Very important. Run as they got their first win of the conference season. She's 0 for 2 today, and she falls behind 0 and 1 to Pratt. Struck out in the first inning, grounded out to Carly Spade. Out at third. Walensky second on the team in RBIs, trailing only Caitlin Shoemaker. And Shoemaker does it all for Northern Illinois. Second on the team in hitting, only trailing Walensky. Leads the team in RBIs, home runs, extra base hits, the whole gamut. 1-1 is trickled out to Maddie Bang. It's going to be a tough play. Bang, bang over at first. And Terrell Goodry calls Kelly Walensky out. So they strand the runner at third. It's 3-1 as we head to the bottom half of the fifth on Love and Honor Live. Fifth inning, no runs, one hit. Stretch time here in Oxford. It's the bottom of the fifth. 3-1, still our score. Only eight hits between the two teams. Miami with two. Northern Illinois with six. Riley Coyne, Adriana Barlow, Matty Banks do up for Miami. We'll have to get back in this one. D.D. Stewart back in the circle for Northern Illinois. 
Coyne brought home the lone Miami run all the way back in the second inning. And she's first pitch swinging, pops it up to shallow right center field. And the wind blows and howls as Northern Illinois can't come up with that first out. Now it's number six, shortstop Adriana Barlow. So after the defensive miscue, Miami gets a leadoff base runner. And Adriana Barlow steps up to the plate. Barlow, the starting shortstop, grounded out to Carruthers, the third baseman, her first time. Wind blowing at 25 miles an hour to the east, which is right center field here at the softball stadium. Barlow with a base knock, or would be, as Rodriguez comes diving in to make the play out and left. Barlow hits one on the screws, but Rodriguez, a fantastic web gym out and left. Number 29, second baseman, Maddie Banks. Odds on the best ball that Miami has hit all day. And not a lot to show for it. So we'll see Maddie Banks. Her bunt single. Back in the third. Gave a base runner for Miami as they get to their lauded top of the order. But didn't sh come up. Any runs. Banks, the senior utility player from Iowa. Got the start today at second. It's off the end of the bat, out to the shortstop, Walensky. The throw over to first for the double play to Shoemaker, not in time as Coyne dove back into first, just in time. At the plate, number seven, Carly Spade. So back-to-back -back lineups put two away for Carly Spade with one runner aboard. Erickson will talk to Danielle Stewart as Spade steps into the batter's box. Talk about what they want to do here in the bottom half of the fifth. Spade representing the tying run at the plate. Number 24, Kylie Cutter for the Huskies. Kylie Coyne hasn't. Attempted a stolen base this season. She's got 10 runs scored. First pitch swinging, Spade comes up empty. They shift to put four Huskies in the outfield. Allowing Spade to have an easy base hit if she can ground one through the right side, but that's not what she's looking for. As the 0-1 is fouled straight back off the net. It's 0-2. Spade flew out to center field her last time. She grounded out to third base in her first at bat. She's sporting an 0 for 2. Stewart checks the sign, rocks and deals. In the dirt, Spade didn't even have to think about it. It's 1-2. and two. Spade lines one down the left field line. A well foul. We'll do it once more here at one and two. In 
in the dirt. So trying to work around Carly Spate. The biggest pitches in the ball game coming up right here. Stewart gets the sign, rocks back. And get Spade to come up empty for a huge strikeout. The off speed had Spade out in front. And we're through five, Northern Illinois with a three to one lead. Northern Illinois looking for some insurance runs here in the top half of the six. They lead three-time rating Mac champs, Miami, three to one. Four, five, six, two up for the Huskies. Care brother, Sam Melinder and D.D. Stewart. They're looking to give themselves a little more breathing room. They played it two in the first, one in the second. Hung a lot of zeros since then. Three consecutive innings with no runs coming across for either team. Brianna Pratt in the circle for another inning of work. First pitch to Carruthers. She shows bunt, pulls it back. It's 1-0. Oh. Is in there for a called strike. Crothers with a single back in the first inning. Gave Northern Illinois the lead. Really looked back since. As we'll see, Dee Dee Stewart, she's in the hole and she has been fantastic in the circle. Holding this. Highly touted Red Hawks lineup to just three hits through five innings. True freshman. Two ones in the dirt. It's three and one. Pratt has yet to give up a free pass in this ball game. Not her MO, there's a lot of strikes. She finds one there to run the count full. Infield playing straight up. And here's the payoff pitch. Called strike three. The 10th of Stand the ball game for there. Brianna Pratt. And she ties her season high. And looking to add on. <laughs> Stepping in is Sam Melinder. Pratt has yet to get Melinder out. She had that extra base hit. The only extra base hit that we've seen this entire ball game from either team. All the way back in the first inning. Pratt has settled in since then. But she falls behind to the designated hitter here. 2 0 is the count.
Brad Askin where she missed, just on the inside. 3-0 the count to Melinda. Call strike. Pratt trying to work all the way back, just as she did one better go to Kara Crothers. Pratt gets the sign from Coyne. Rocks and deals the 3-1. Base hit to right field as Melinder continues to have a day at the plate. So we'll see D.D. Stewart. And once again, they're going to have a pinch runner for Melinder. It's Fiona Crane. Started in the flex today. Stewart 0 for 2. But it hasn't been what she's been able to do at the plate. It's what she's done in the circle. Pinch runner for the Huskies at first base, number 26, Fiona Crane. At the plate, number 22, Danielle Stewart. D.D. Stewart, first pitch, swinging. She struck out her first time around. She's also grounded out to Pratt. Nine hits and 43 at-bats before coming into today. Out in front of the 0-1. As Riley Coyne's going to give a breather for Paul Melcher. You see this all the time, both in baseball and softball. One plate umpire wears a foul ball or errant pitch. Got to give him a breather. Let him regain his breath. I'll tell you what, after the rain that we've had for the past few days, this field, this day, besides the wind, it's, it's a beautiful March day. Sun shining through the clouds. Could see more wind tomorrow. More rain, rather. But hopefully we saw the last of the cold days here in southwestern Ohio. 0-2 oh, misses outside. Danielle Stewart. Dee Dee. And she was put in the starting lineup. Awaits the 1-2 from Pratt. The field playing straight up for a double play to get out of this inning. As on the run was Fiona Crane. She was thrown out earlier in the ball game. Pinch running for Melinder. Stewart got a good piece of that foul ball, but it was just that. Continuation of the at-bat. Here's the one-two. Found in front of home plate as it hits off of Stewart, and we'll do it again. Pratt Camp seemed to put down the opposing pitcher. Wind's still blowing at 30 miles an hour, though. Hasn't played much of a factor. Missing upstairs. Miami thought they had Stewart dead in the rights. But a called ball and a 2-2 count. Out to the third baseman, Carly Spade. The play out second. Maddie Banks, the relay over to first. The double play. Five, four, three. Gets Miami out of the inning. It's three to one as we head to the bottom of the sixth. So for Northern Illinois. In the
right, here we go. Bottom of the sex, it's three to one. Ali Cummins, Ali Vlaska, Kate Kobayashi, do up for the Red Hawks as they are trailing the Huskies. Three to one. You're watching Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. I'm Reed Mountain. Thank you for joining us. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Take a gander around the channel. Yes. The conference leading home run hitter, Allie Cummins, steps into the batter's box. 0 for 1, she's walked and struck out. Only her third time the plate today. First pitch swinging as a ground ball over to Carruthers. She fields it with ease, throws it across the diamond to Shoemaker for the first out. It's 5 to 3, put out. So now it's Holly Blaska. And the true freshman, Danielle Stewart, has held this highly lauded first four batters of the Red Hawks lineup. To an 0 for 9 thus far. Carly Spade 0 for 3, Allie Cummins 0 for 2. Molly Blaskin and Kate Kobayashi at the plate and on, in the on-deck circle. Blaska, just like Cummins in front of her first pitch, swinging. Trying to get out on Dee Dee Stewart. And she has been masterful in the circle today. Three Ks, only three hits given up. And she is gets another swing and miss from Holly Blaska. Blaska has flown out to right field, flew out to center left field last time. Got a good piece, her last at bat. The senior awaits the 0-2. And goes down swinging. And she's out in front of the 0-2 offering. Stewart has seemed to get sharper as the game has progressed. So Kobayashi looking to get a two out rally going here in the bottom half of the sixth. Last year, Miami swept the series against. Northern Illinois. They only play two games. The Huskies looking to get a win here today. The 2 0. In there for a called strike. Kobayashi was awarded first on a walker last time. Was stranded there. That was back in the fourth inning. Upstairs, three and one's the count. Three one is fouled straight back, run the count full. Called strike three. And Stewart sends down Blaska and Kobayashi on strikes. And she has been sharp through six. We head to the final frame. It's three to one. No runs, no hits, no errors.
Top of the seventh here in Oxford, the visiting Huskies. One lead, the reigning champions of the Mid-American Conference, the Miami Red Hawks. And this first of three games between the Huskies and Miami University. Seven, eight, nine, do up for Northern Illinois. Kylie Connor, Ellis Erickson. Ali Rodriguez. Connor takes the first pitch for a called strike. Miami had a 5-4-3 double play to get them out of the sixth inning. And then Danielle Stewart struck out the three and four hitters of the Red Hawks lineup. Holly Blaska and Kate Kobayashi. And she has gotten stronger as the game has gone on. One on one's the count. Foul towards the first base dugout. Here is the one, two. Just off the outside. Pratt, who gave up three runs in the first two innings, has settled in. She struck out 10 Husky batters. It's hung four consecutive zeros on the board after giving up two in the first and one in the second. And that's strikeout number 11. So her season high. Number 23, Ellis Erickson. She had 10 Ks against Murray State. The Racers back just a month ago on Feb February 24th. Struck out eight against Loyola Chicago and nine against OU. But has put down 11 in her start against Northern Illinois. Ellis Erickson. Falls behind 0-1. She's got an 0 for 2 on her score sheet. Struck out and is grounded out. Misses low and in. Pratt rocks, steals. Gets a swinging strike from Erickson. The one, two. Grounded out to Maddie Banks. She doesn't field it cleanly. Falls down as Erickson will take first base. Second error of the game for Miami. I was looking at my score sheet. So you mentioned the 11 strikeouts. Northern Illinois has yet to record an out in the air. Nothing but ground outs and strikeouts for the, for the Huskies. And we're going to see a pinch hitter. Coming to the plate, number 29, Delaney Ostrowski. Delaney Ostrowski steps into the batter's box. Pinch hitting for Ali Rodriguez. Ostrowski, a 286 hitter. She's got 10 hits and 35 at-bats, three RBIs, three doubles, one home run. Knots the count up at one and one as she takes on the outside. 
Back to the top of the order and Caitlin Shoemaker, the best bat in Northern Illinois' lineup. After Ostrowski. Chop towards Brianna Pratt. She comes out of the circle, flips it over to Blaska for the second out. And they're going to go talk to Pratt. With two away and a runner on second base. And we're back to Caitlin Shoemaker. So some potential insurance runs for the Huskies. Well welcomed as Brianna Pratt, who has yet to get Shoemaker out, is looking to leave this game at a 3-1 score. Shoemaker had two hits in the first two frames, then had another single back in the fifth. Now batting number three, Caitlin Shoemaker. Field playing straight up against Shoemaker. She came around and scored and had an RBI already in this ball game. Looking to add on. Miss it on the outside. Field's going to play straight up. Wind still blowing out to right center field. is fouled into the Miami dugout. Erickson out at second. A crucial point of this ball game. And the dirt. Shoemaker has yet to have a four-hit ball game. The only other three-hit came against Elon a month ago. But without a doubt, her best day at the plate, most productive, came a couple weeks ago as she went two for four against Bradley and plated four runs. The junior infielder from Bell Fountain, Ohio, awaits the 3-1. Misses outside, and that's not the worst walk in the world. As now you'll see Courtney James, who Pratt has sent down on strikes twice, and they'll see if there will be a hitter for James. And there will be a new Hit her in for Courtney James. It is number nine, Izzy Schaefer. The pinch hitter, number nine, Izzy Schaefer. Izzy Schaefer just two at-bats on the season. So coming up in a clutch situation. The senior from Dalton City, Illinois. Head of the count, 1-0. She fouls it back. In fact, in her career, just one for 12 at the plate. The one one's in the dirt. They like the left-handed matchup against the righty. Runners on first and second. Two ones the count to Schaefer. Blaska playing in front of first base. Called strike. We'll do it at two and two. Two on. Two away. And a two-run ball game. The count is two and two. Chop. 
Chopped over to Carly Spade. She gloves it, taps her foot on third for the first out. So the force out retires Northern Illinois. Though, th though they threaten, three and one's our score. So we head to the bottom half of the seventh. Die time for Miami here on the bottom of the seventh. We won our score from Oxford. Dee Dee Stewart has been masterful in the circle for Northern Illinois in this one. She'll face five, six, seven in Miami's lineup. Jenna Golombeski due up, leading off for the Red Hawks. Then it's Shelby Kunkel and Riley Coyne. Golombeski, a lone run for Miami in this one. Takes the first pitch for a called strike. <laughs> Sent for a ride to deep left center field. It's three to two. Golombeski touches them all. As Miami leaves the yard for the first time today. Up, Shelby Kunkel stepping Shelby up. Besky with her fifth home run on the season. Shelby Kunkel looking to get her fifth home run, or rather her second home run, her fifth RBI. Yes, she can tie the game up with just one swing. She comes in 0 for 2. She gets ahead on the count 1-0. Kunkel pops up, out of play, the 1-0. Runs the count to one and one. Just four hits in the ball game for Miami. Two came off the bat of Golombeski. Maddie Banks got on board with a bunt. The other came on the... Infield pop up from Riley Coyne, who waits in the on deck. Two ones the count to the left handed swinging Kunkel. Called strike. DD Stewart knots it up. Fouled straight back. Kunkel stays alive. Northern Illinois looking to pull off the upset in the first game of this three-game series. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit weakly out to Carruthers, who has shifted over to the shortstop position. She fields it cleanly, throws it over to Shoemaker for the five to three put out in the first out. Riley Coyne. Now at the plate. Number 15, Riley Coyne. 
Coyne had the RBI back in the second inning. She then popped another ball up that was misplayed just beyond the infield back in the fifth. Coyne takes the first pitch she sees for a called strike. As Stewart gets ahead. No one is hit off the end of the bat. Crothers fields it cleanly for the second out. Back to back putouts to the third baseman. Crothers and Miami's down to their final out. Adriana Barlow. And Adriana Barlow will step in. Looking to at least extend the game one batter. Barlow squared a ball up to left field that Ali Rodriguez came diving in to make a fantastic web gem of an out. She also grounded out to Crothers in her two at-bats. Two knows the count to Barlow. The Rock. This is on the outside, Stewart. She's one pitch away from walking the tying run. In the on deck circle is Maddie Banks. Or at least Maddie Banks' is spot in the lineup. As Maggie Murphy. Is Gearin getting ready for an at bat? Three knows the counts to Barlow. Called strike, taken all the way. One run ball game, two away here in the bottom of the seventh. Called strike two. Count is full. Barlow steps in. Stewart toes the rubber. The payoff is sent in to the air. Center field. James underneath it for the third and final out. And Northern Illinois takes the first of three here in Oxford. Danielle Stewart goes the distance as she was masterful in the circle for the Huskies, holding the Red Hawks to just two runs, one being Golombeski's big fly here in the seventh inning. They'll conclude this series with two games tomorrow. You can watch both on Love and Honor Live here on Chatterbox Sports. But give Stewart the win, Pratt the loss, and IU increases, enhances their record to 11 and 12. Miami Falls to 14 and 10. And IU goes to 2 and 1 in the Mid American Conference. Miami Falls to 2 and 2. That does it from us out here in Oxford for Reed Mouse and the producer Casey McAllister. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Love and Honor Live on Chatterbox Sports.